Solar Media recently hosted a round table discussion with some of the leading lights of the energy storage industry. PV Tech Storage editor Andy Colthorpe found out what they had to say about the potential of the UK energy storage market in these exclusive interviews. It's a very exciting uh, market. You know, we've uh, seen uh, a great deal of growth. And there's a lot of potential uh, for homeowners to benefit from storing electricity uh, that they've generated uh, in their home and then using it again later in the evening. So there's a, a really massive potential, more than 650,000 people in the UK with solar PV. Um, and it'd be really great if we could sort of get storage into those houses. Today's event has, has proved it. It's great, by the way, of getting everybody together in the room early on to discuss ideas from the grid to manufacturers to uh, installers. Um, it's obviously at a very embryonic stage. Lots of people putting them out, lots of people doing trials, and lots of people getting uh, different ideas of where the market is going to go. Um, and uh, yeah, collectively getting people together to actually share those ideas. Um, really different views coming across from other parts of the industry. I think the uh, residential storage market is set to take off in the UK. We've got something like six to seven hundred thousand installations of renewable energy, predominantly PV, but not exclusively. And each of those are people that could be interested in an energy storage solution that would help them maximise the benefit from their installation. Storage is very complementary to solar, and because uh, the, there is a very large, uh, already installed uh, capacity of solar systems, that there's, there's a ready market to go for storage. It's also extremely important that that is handled in the right, the right way. So I think events like this are, are so important to make sure that the knowledge is shared and to make sure that the right message can go out to people to ensure that systems aren't missold and to make sure the correct systems are installed in the correct way. We are finding uh, within the residential market there's quite a good interest now. A lot of people are looking at going um, off-grid. Uh, they're also looking for energy security. And again, there's a little bit of resilience to the uh, big six at the moment. Uh, so in the uh, retrofit market, we are finding you know, those are definitely the key three factors that's driving people at the moment. There is an obvious demand from PV system owners to increase their self-consumption and just a general notion that by exporting electricity to the grid, because of the way that the PV incentive is structured, that they are somehow wasting that electricity. And they're naturally interested in storing electricity. At the same time, you've got companies making an enormous marketing noise like Tesla, um, making people aware of the idea that they can have a battery in their home and they can store that electricity and they have some sort of you know, independence from the grid that, that they can achieve. And, and so that really drives the fundamentals for a market and events like the one today, round tables, where you're getting a lot of important influential people around the table to really discuss and get everyone on the same page as to how we turn those fundamentals into an actual market opportunity, you know, a market-driven volume shipment of batteries and all the other like devices that are required to make an energy storage system. Is, is really important. And we've been doing a lot of tests through the Department of Energy and Climate Change and Innovate UK across hundreds of systems, aggregating this as a cloud, so you can use the storage for other income streams. And we think the storage market is very critical for the UK to deal with um, future solar, to do with future wind, to do with future intermittency. But the critical thing is in the early market to make the economics work by taking household benefits and buy the, buy behind the meter and, and network side benefits. So we've been doing a lot of pilots to understand that. And it was very interesting from the forum today that it's the economics which are affecting a number of the companies around the table and maybe the lack of certainty in government um, policy, the lack of financing mechanisms. So it's hard to make an easy, straightforward case for an end customer unless you package it as a solution. And we've been doing a lot of work trying to de-risk this by trying to demonstrate the income streams and demonstrate how to finance things, things properly.